how much can we love? How open can our hearts be? Our borders simply self-impose. Should we ever see boundaries upon our affections? Can we transcend our limitations, perchance purify our passions, permit our hearts to liberate our minds? Let love hallow and heal, make whole and holy. Cuddling our companions, tending our creatures, holding our children. Let the love we have for our nearest and dearest flow from inside to outside. From friends and family in the home beyond to countless creatures in the soil and plants and trees. We've gone from loving a few beings to loving billions. And we ain't even left our armchairs. Can we love insects and bats and spiders and rats? Can our love grow? If so, let it leap the garden wall and float down the street through the smiles of all we meet and greet. Can we love the bad folk along with the good? Can we love the cruel like we love our kin, knowing that love always helps and never hinders? Knowing the world has quite enough hate and harm. The love always ennobles us and never lessens us, and it costs nothing. Can be freely given and we can never have enough. Knowing all nature thrives through warmth and kindness. Understanding the most broken beings require the most unconditional love. Can we find it in our hearts to heal the pain and suffering? To cease the cycles of wounding? To trust and open more and more and more? Oh, sure, there's a preponderance of fondness for those close to us. But can we let love soar from near to far? Breath by breath, step by step, day by day, in every way, regardless of what others have or haven't done to us or for us. Can we love all beings unselfishly, equally, with equanimity? See it flow down the lane across fields and forests, loving all along the way, known and unknown, seen and unseen, and run, jump, lift over the sea, hollering thanks to our mother who made us and all our kin within. Watch love rise like a bird on the wing, soaring effortless aloft, seeing no difference to species or nations or races, with no preference for colours or sexes or ages, placing the welfare of others before us and abolishing self-centred bother. For when there's no self, then there's no other, dissolving duality, transcending unity, circling the earth, fast as light, day and night. Love. Spinning round atoms, swinging round bodies, slinging round stars, looping round galaxies, lumining matter, unleashing energy, spiralling, sovereign through cosmic mind, ensorcelling all space and time, loving everything, everywhere, forever. For do we not all share in our essence of nothing? And do we not all share in our substance of something? And are we not together exploring this magical co-emergence hand in hand with all sentient kind across our interwoven universe? No separation, no distance, no difference. Through collisions and convulsions, germinations and gestations, fluxings and flowerings, mutations and modulations, enchanted by the music of the spheres, world giddy and gravitations dance, swirling, surging, seething, chopped up, cooked up, served up, from the birth of stars to babes in arms, from galaxies' hearts to mothers' hearts, searching for the meaning of vivid life as we spiral through aeons of frigid death to know the wisdom of love. And are we becoming a shared symbiotic sentience, a concatenation of consciousness evolving coterminous across the cosmos, from first to last sought through many paths the wisdom behind all mortal masks? Our Heavenly Father, our Earth Mother, our Ancient Serpent, our Perfect Master. Invoked with many names echoing through time, though beyond lies nameless, divine mind, the nature of which is enlightened love.